Welcome back. KwaZulu Natal Acting Premier Nomakuku Simelani has announced changes to the Provincial Executive Committee. This follows the resignation of the former MEC for Sports, Arts and Culture, Amanda Bani Mapena. In April, Sipo KK Nkosi, a member of the Provincial Legislature, has been appointed as a new member of the Executive Council. Nkosi takes over from Dr. Ndutugo Mathaba as MEC for Human Settlements and Public Works, while Dr. Mathaba has been redeployed to the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. Ngosi has served as an MPL since 2009 and worked in various committees, including the Finance Committee. He has been sworn in as MEC for Human Settlement and Public Works. MEC Dr. Tantutugo Mashaba has not been sworn in this morning because he was already sworn in as an MEC. However, he is moving portfolio from the Department of Human Settlement and Public Works to the Department of Sports, Arts and Recreation. Now to talk more on this issue, we are joined by political analyst Sandy Leswana, who joins us via our Zoom link, and he will talk to us about the changes uh, which have been made now in the KwaZulu Natal ex Provincial Executive. Uh, Mr. Swana, thank you so much for joining us here on the late edition. First things first, you know, what do you make uh, of uh, you know the reshuffle here? One would say that it was expected because of uh, you know that subsequent resignation uh, which we saw in April. What is your take on? Uh, the current um, reshuffle yes the the current reshuffle uh, obviously we've heard from local commentators and politicians on the ground that the department of human settlements has been underperforming for quite some time and in a sense uh, many would say uh, it's a demotion of one kind or the mm. other but also a keeping of an incompetent MEC within the cabinet, uh, moving him from human settlements to uh, sport. And also we are aware that the previous MEC for sport resigned before her own scandal broke uh, of misusing funds there and the cabinet held collective responsibility for whatever failures that had happened there. So we are not seeing a progressive movement forward, uh, certainly listening to the other leaders in the, in the province here. Mm. And when you speak of uh, Dr. Ndutugo Mashaba, you are saying that this is a demotion. What does it say, especially for somebody who sits on the top five of the ANC in the province, so who has been deemed as demoted uh, to the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture? <laughs> The politics of KZN are very complicated. Uh, the KZN, like the Western Cape, has got unique politics. And I'll make you an example of this. When the ANC was growing at its highest, almost 70%, holding votes of about 70% in the country, in KZN, the ANC was holding 47%. It was only after JZ took over, George Jacob Zuma took over power, that they went up to, to about 65%. And as soon as JZ left, they lost about a, a half a million uh, votes when Sir Ramaphosa took over. They've been going down. All of this since 2009, when the same Dr. Mashaba joined, because he joined uh, when the Jacob Zuma uh, uh, was uh, getting power getting into power. So all of that has been a period of mediocrity uh, across the board uh, in the nation and in KZN itself. So uh, there is a very difficult situation that they are facing of having to keep certain types of loyalists that had joined and emerged during the time of the Jacob Zuma era. Mm. So that is how I would explain what is going on. Mm. And when we speak about the new MEC for Human Settlements, uh, C. Paul K. K. Nkosi, you know, what expertise is he bringing? What experience does he have uh, that can actually turn around uh, the Human Settlements Department? This is the other difficulty because, uh, you know, you have to listen to what the ANC is saying. Like we had listened to them uh, in the Ministry of Electricity and also listen to the other parties. 
I have not yet heard his own contemporaries and colleagues in the political industry saying that he is bringing much uh, a, a track record of delivery. But what I will commend, I do not, I have not had specific achievements that are attributed to him or credentials that point to superior performance that is going to come. But we will commend uh, Mbalula, the Secretary General, for saying that now they are looking for people who can deliver. As to whether the actual individuals that they are appointing are the ones who are going to deliver, it's another story. I have not found that report uh, about, about Ngos. Mm. And when it comes to, you know, who actually uh, conducted this uh, cabinet reshuffle, you know, uh, some were saying that uh, we have an acting premier. Uh, I don't know if you uh, followed the happenings in the city of Johannesburg when we had an acting mayor. You know, uh, uh, do you see anything, uh, do you read anything into the fact that this was done by an acting premier of the province? <sighs> Yeah, well, uh, I, I, I remember what you are talking about. And uh, in, uh, in the case of Joe Beck, indeed, the likes of Kenny Gunen and so on got a, a, a day, their day under the sun and what have you. Yes, uh, in the ANC, these types of things that are dramatic and what have you do happen sometimes under an acting person. Uh, and bear in mind that the, the, the so-called current uh, uh, premier has that uh, a march, I mean, a demonstration at her own house. So the, the, there are divisions there, massive divisions in KZN, related to the loyalists of the old regime, uh, 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 the anti-CR-17, CR-22 regime, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of machinations there. Uh, it's not easy. Those are not easy politics. Mm, and 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 one would ask uh, that uh, uh, where is the scale uh, you know uh, leaning more towards is uh, is it that of uh, those affiliated uh, to the current president of the ANC or the former uh, president of the ANC uh, uh, Jacob Zuma? I, I I think that when I looked at the numbers, uh, the the Jacob Zuma faction is still a major factor in mm. in KZN. And there is a degree to which the very leaders, current leaders, who cannot be removed, by the way, Mdolo and Duma, cannot be removed from office, uh, are actually leaning towards the, the, the JZ camp. So, and Sir Ramaphosa cannot remove them at all. He has got no power to do that. Mm. And, what does this, political mm. and what does this say, uh, or that political climate, uh, this cabinet reshuffle, especially at a time where, uh, you know, all political parties in this country are now planning uh, towards the 2024 uh, elections, you know, uh, if you take it back to the ANC conference in, uh, you know, uh, last year in December, K KZN was criticized uh, for not being a united front. Uh, this cabinet reshuffle, what does it speak to going into the elections, especially uh, for President Cyril Ramaphosa? I, I have serious doubts that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa is going to be able to rock the boat and having an advisor like Mbalula on board, and, and I, I listened attentively to what Mbalula was saying. Mbalula and uh, 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 Mukonyane are saying rather assist these people to perform better. And the, so, so the issue of saying Ramaphosa uh, is gaining this or gaining that is not going to work. But what is more important, and which is an idea that needs to be embraced even by Duma and Mdolo, is that choose people who are competent, because both uh, Ramaphosa and Zuma brought the Stalinist principles of the cult of personality, where the ANC is not popular because of superior performance. They, they say somebody is popular. Jacob Zuma is popular. Cyril is popular. So-and-so is popular. He must be in the cabinet. He, he is popular. But that has cost them. It has cost them, and they've been losing votes for a long time. So even the loss, if there are losses that are happening today, these are losses that come from a legacy of losses, electoral losses. I mean, they've been big, beaten 8-4. By, by the DA and the, and, and the Ngata. So they, they are losing, and but they've been losing since Cyril took over in KZN mm -hmm. anyway. And they've been losing since Jacob Zuma took over nationally. So they've been losing for some time. So the issue now is, can you then change and move away from the politics of personality to politics of performance? That mm -hmm. is the issue.
to try and create a KZN of Sir Ramaphosa is not going to work. Mm. All right, then. Thank you very much. That is Sandy Leswana there, a political analyst uh, who was uh, weighing in uh, on that cabinet reshuffle coming out from KwaZulu-Natal.